If Rashawn Holmes was at all apprehensive about his new situation, the way a player might be when asked to uproot his life, he did a fantastic job concealing it in the hour before the Washington Wizards suffered their sixth straight loss in Saturday night's 119-113 defeat to the Philadelphia 76ers at Capital One Arena. The Wizards' newest addition, acquired Thursday along with a first-round draft pick from the Dallas Mavericks for Daniel Gafford, was all smiles as he paced around Capital One Arena. He laughed and joked with a staffer on his walk to the locker room, fist-bumping just about every coach and security guard in his vicinity along the way. About 15 minutes later, he reclined in a folding chair at his new locker, relaxed as all get out. Without deviating from a broad smile, he talked about opportunity, the chance to do the dirty work for the Wizards and provide physicality on the interior to reunite with Marvin Bagley III after their time together in Sacramento, and that, before the trade, Washington was one of his favorite cities to visit and featured a roster that impressed him offensively. And, his smile growing for the final time, he mentioned to the chance to be a leader. I mean, I think that's what they want from me, the 30-year-old said. I'm not used to being one of the oldest guys in the locker room. But that's something I want to bring and something I want to do. Washington, it seemed, could have used his interior defense against Philadelphia. The lack of resistance to late drives by Tyrese Maxey and Ricky Council IV ultimately sank an upset bid. Holmes, who spent his first game with the Wizards on the bench, said the basketball side of the trade will come easy. His one caveat about the trade? His eight-year-old son is still attending school in Dallas. Look forward to getting him out here as well, Holmes said. Each team had lost eight of its previous ten games and was on the second game of a back-to-back, -back, but the 76ers, 31-21, looked plenty spry as zippy drives to the basket by Maxi and Kelly Oubre Jr. built a double-digit lead early in the second quarter. Still, Washington, 9-43, chipped away, pulling within three at halftime as Tyus Jones's fifth first-half three-pointer capped an 8-0 run in the final 72 seconds of the quarter. The close score, in part, was a byproduct of circumstance. Reigning MVP Joel Embiid has been out of Philadelphia's lineup since January 30 with a lateral meniscus injury in his left knee. He previously bludgeoned the Wizards for 34. 48 and 50 point outings this season. The Wizards kept within reasonable distance early in the second half, bouncing back from the wrong side of a 13 3 run midway through the third quarter with a 14 5 run in the fourth that cut their deficit to two. Maxi, 28 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists, paced Philadelphia as one of six players in double figures. Buddy Heald, the 76ers, marquee deadline addition, had 23 points. Council added 19 points and 10 rebounds off the bench.